Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and since the holidays are coming up and the holidays are all about spending time with each other, I figured what better way to spend time with all my friends than maybe doing something good in our little community. So this morning we are all at LA Kitchen preparing some food for the people that might need it in our home of LA. I figure if we're all gonna be hanging out, we might as well be hanging out, catching up, doing some good. So what you'll be doing today is part of our impact program where we work with local farms and supermarkets and they donate product that they can't sell either because it's a little bit blemished so they donate it to us for us to transform it into healthy meals that we then distribute to different senior centers, needle exchange programs, homeless shelters. So today we're going to be um, dicing and cutting some red bell peppers in half. I'm going to use them two different ways. We figure that even if you're getting a meal that's being handed out to you, it still should be delicious as well as healthy. Oh, 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 oh my. She's leaking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm doing it wrong because my forearms are getting sore. Look at I don't think that's supposed to happen. Forearms. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a good one right here. This is a good one. How can you? Will you show me how you can tell when a pepper is good? It, the firmness. Here, squeeze this one, but very gently. Now listen to listen to it. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Dice darling. Dice darling. No, Miss Bella. <laughs> so it's called LA Kitchen, but what I really like is that he talked about how we're all in LA and we're all neighbors for each other. And so the program is helping people who maybe have had something bad happen to them in their past or who weren't born with a lot of resources or privilege, and it's about neighbors giving back to them. Someone might look at this dang pepper and say, ooh, look at that, I don't want to eat it, but look at the rest of the pepper, there's still so much left to use. And they talk about how that is the same way with people in society, that you might look at somebody and think, wow, that person has a past that I don't really want to trust or be around, but that person has so much potential or maybe wants to do good with their life and they're not defined by their past or not defined by the blemish that you might see in them. Chef Joey at your service. Does she have a technique? Yes, I was being taught to grab it from here Ooh. and cut forward. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's a Ooh. forward motion and she reminded me to breathe. Oh, okay. I wasn't breathing. I almost passed out <laughs> on the night. Chop it, chop it. And if you don't have the time to come and volunteer one morning, you can also help by just donating. Whether it's something in your cabinet or you can call ahead of time and see what they need. There are ways to help even if you don't have hours and hours to give. And the food that you donate actually makes a huge difference and goes to help people in your community. It's very important and helpful to donate because companies like us, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without the help of the public and companies. So the, their donations help us feed a lot of people every week and it would be impossible for us to do it without. I feel like a lot of homes just have stuff that they don't eat or it's just sitting in the pantry even though it's still good like nobody even touches it and it's like if that can come to a place like this and feed people that can make a huge difference. Okay, so we're wrapping up here. I had so much fun with my friends and we actually did a little bit of good, which is like a cool thing. And I know sometimes it feels like intimidating to try a new thing or to come to a place like this, but it was so easy and so welcoming and I learned everything I needed to learn within the time that I was here and I was able to 
feel like I did something in my community, and I would want you to feel the same thing. So in the description, I'm putting a whole bunch of resources on how to figure out how to volunteer in your community. And if you guys do, let me know. Tweet me pictures and send me uh, updates of how you are maybe doing a difference with your friends and family in your community. Thank you so much to LA Kitchen for having us and hosting us and teaching us a little bit about how to give back. If you want to learn more about them, I'll put them in the description. I hope you guys have a really great holiday season and enjoy the time with your friends and family. And if you need something to do, why not volunteer? Cinch for the golf. Volunteering? It's a cinch. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>